All right, I'm gonna be placing a modified Robert Jones bandage on my patient. We'll start with my stirrups. Put on the lateral and medial side of the leg. I'm shaking. All right, and then I'm gonna start with my cast padding, starting at the toes and making sure that my toes are hanging out so I can check for any swelling or discoloration or moisture. I'm going to cover 50% of what I already previously wrapped. Make sure I have no bumps or lumps that will cause any pain to my patient. And I'm going to go back down again. Again, still just covering 50% of my previous wrap. I just want to apply enough pressure to keep the legs stable. And I'm going to apply my cling and I'm going to do it in the same direction I did before. This one I'm going to make a little more snug. I'm going to still cover 50% of what I previously laid down. I'm going to come back down the leg again. I'm going to cut it. Now I'm going to apply my stirrups to keep my bandage from slipping down. I'm going to just kind of twist and let it lay back up. Hold it on and you see my toes are still exposed. And I'm going to wrap with vet wrap. <laughs> this I'm going to leave a little loose just so it doesn't apply too much pressure. And I'm going to stretch it out a little just to keep the pressure under control. I'm still just going to halfway cover what I previously laid. And I'm gonna come back down, cut my cling, or my vet wrap, stick it and make sure it still feels good and snug and my toes are still hanging out to check for any swelling or moisture or discoloration. And that is how you place a modified Robert Jones bandage.